the Democratic Alliance's effort to do what it claims to be depoliticizing the public service has been rejected. The National Assembly voted in favor of the Portfolio Committee on Public Service and Administration report, which rejected the DA's bill as undesirable. The party says the bill was aimed at doing away with the CADA deployment. For reaction on the story, we are now joined by Rosina Komani, EFF member of Parliament. Rosina, thank you very much for joining us. Just your um, initial reaction to this decision by Parliament. Thank you very much and good uh, afternoon to your listeners. Uh, we as the EFF would want to put it on record that this is not a portfolio committee stand. It is the ANC that has used its, ma its majority to reject the, the private members' bill. And as the EFF, we have noted in several occasions that this, par this parliament is being used by the e uh, ANC majority not to process the private members' bills of members of parliament. Uh, last week, only last week, two member, uh, private members' bills were rejected by the same parliament. Uh, yesterday, the private members' bill of the DA was rejected by parliament, and later, the, another private members' bill was then rejected by the same, uh, by, 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 by the same parliament. So as the EFF, we... Uh, um, we are, we, we, we are declaring that Parliament, our primary job is to wait for the, for, for, for the introduction or, or for, to introduce executive, executive uh, legislation. We, are, we as members of Parliament are not given the chance to, 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 to put in legislation that would govern the country. Only the ANC is using its majority to do that. And it, they always uh, want to put first their key deployment. And as the EFF, we are bound by our cardinal pillars, seven non-negotiable cardinal pillars, which number three speaks to building the state and government capacity. But then the, we see, what we see in that government, in, in that parliament, is that the ANC is not adhering to such. The ANC is not even interested in building the state capacity. The, uh, uh, as the EFF as well, we have got the, uh, uh, the non-negotiable cardinal pillar number seven, which says we as the EFF, we want to see the open, accountable, fraud-free government and the society without any fear to be victimized by the state agencies. But what has been done in that parliament is that cadre deployment is being put in front so that the corrupt ANC can advance their cor corruption within government without, with, without being taken to account, with, without uh, being held accountable by any, uh, anybody. That is why they are always using their majority. That is why you yesterday saw they are, they are, they are with breaking Uguti, there are many there. So there's nothing that uh, members of parliament uh, will do. Yeah. But we need to remind the country that as members of parliament, we did not just go there to satisfy our political party politics, but we went there in parliament to advance and to make sure that the executive is held accountable. But in that parliament, the same executive is the very same ones that are bringing into in legislation which only favors them, which is only pro-corrupt. That is the stance of the EFF. That is how we, we rejected the, uh, the, 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 the yesterday's report. And we reiterate that that is not the committee report. That is an ANC report. So, so Rosina, just, just maybe before we get to uh, that, uh, the bill, um, as we mentioned, was uh, supported by a broad spectrum of uh, opposition parties, including yourselves, the IFP, ACDP, PAC, uh, amongst others. From your perspective as the uh, EFF, why were you uh, uh, supporting this particular bill? Uh, we're supporting the particular bill because it has much to do with dealing with the corruption within the public service. We, we can now see there are many uh, uh, senior officials within the department that are still doing business with the state. Uh, the, uh, the president of the country, the corrupt Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa, has since 2018 said he, he is transforming the, 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 the parliament. He's, he will make sure that every minister accounts. But look what is happening. None of that has, has happened. Nothing to date has, has, has been recorded by parliament 
or uh, nothing has been recorded by Parliament if there is any 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 any, any results to whatever that he said. So we don't see as the EFF to be supporting the 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 the, 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 the report. That is not speaking to the people of South Africa. That is not going to be beneficial of the people of South Africa, but would would instead only disadvantage the people, but then uh, give gains to the uh, corrupt ANC people and their and their cronies. Because mm. every time when you see a, a, a deployment or employment into the into the senior management system, all those people are always attached to the ANC, and the uh, the ANC are using their majority in every committee to 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 advance the people that would then be fr- they, they would be fronting with to do the, the corruption that we see in South Africa. Well, well, um, the, the ANC in their uh, response actually, ANC's Miriam Kibi had said that, but it's not an illegal practice. Cater deployment, it's not illegal. So even those that are po- opposing it, like yourself and the Democratic Alliance, um, they cannot prove I- I- its illegality, as it were. Uh, we, we have, as the EFF, we have never said Cater deployment in its totality is corrupt. But what we have seen happening in the ANC is that almost all the Cater's who are deployed into government are then sent there to milk the coffers of the of the South Africans without any service delivery, without any benefit to the community, then why are they not uh, making public how they are uh, how they are they are exercising their CADA deployment? We have never said the CADA deployment in his in, in his in its totality is corrupt, but we are saying we have noted that there are, uh, uh, there's cater deployment within the ANC which is used to advance corruption in the, uh, in the country. All right, Rosina, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much uh, for joining us. Rosina Komani, who is the EFF member of uh, Parliament.